A legal practitioner, Barrister Bolanli Olubani, has criticized the industrial court for ordering the striking lecturers to suspend their over seven months of industrial action and return to class. Olubani, who spoke exclusively with our correspondent, Emmanuel Olubaboku, said the court's decision was a step backward in the process of resolving the umpers between the federal government and ASU. It was a bit imbalanced in the sense that you can actually force a horse to the river, but you cannot force it to drink. If you order the lecturers to go back to strike, lecturers whose salaries have been withheld for so long, an order should have been made to elicit the cooperation with the obedience to that order that their outstanding salaries till date should be paid. That should have been an incentive and a balanced approach to resolving the disputes at the interlocutory stage. Thereafter, a date should have been set for the decision or arguments concerning the merit of the case itself. There should be integrity. Based on revenue that the government is making, we can afford to pay X amount in the first year. We can afford to pay X amount in the second year. By four years or five years from now, with your salary increase, we will be able to finish paying off. Why is that so difficult? Why is that so difficult? Yet money is being channeled into white elephant projects. Loans have been obtained every day without the concomitant or resultant effect on what we can see. And Nigeria is in such a huge debt. And we're wondering all the money borrowed, all the money, you know, uh, uh, derived from internally generated revenue. Where has it all gone? Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.